Hi, thank you for joining us today. Uh, since it's fall, I thought it would be fun to do a little miniature project. It's a real simple one to do, really simple. It's great to do with children to help them teach about scale and um, the fall. Um, use a matchbox. It's not this exact one, but one like this. They're all about the same size. And what you'll see is I took the outside of the matchbox and I glued it to the side, like so. Now inside, I cut a piece of um, scrapbook paper. It's beige, I made it look kind of like a floor. And I had a little um, wooden plate that I glued vegetables, squash vegetables. This right here, I don't know if you can see it very well, maybe I can turn it. And I can tilt it a little bit to see. I took a gear, like a clock gear from Hobby Lobby, any of the craft stores, and I took a piece of cardstock and just folded it so it looked like a stand. And, and I don't know if you can see that. And just so it made it look like a little table. These two people, it's um, pilgrims, or they could be farmers. I received these as a gift from someone, but you could take um, buttons and cut the shanks off and just glue them, or as I did here, I used um, museum wax on the back. This is a button with a printout of a clock face, just glued it on. This was a punch of a heart out of cardstock, and then just put two little white dots on it to make it look like a heart on the wall. So it can be as much fun as you want to make it. Use your imagination, and that's what I love about challenges, and they're great for kids um, and grown-ups. So we can all work together and, and look at things a little differently, problem solve, and uh, as you probably tell, that's what we try to do a lot in here with our YouTube site is help each other, have fun, be creative, and look at different ways to make things or learn how to make something look like something else. Um, the more we use our minds, the better we'll be, and that's for all ages. So I just have some close-ups here to show you that just little gear. It's a little wooden gear, and, you know, a piece of cardstock folded over, glued to a, uh, more cardstock. It becomes a little table or a stand, and then just some close-up views to the side because it's hollow, but they're light, so you don't need a lot of weight, and uh, this doesn't take up a lot of space. And here's a front view, and you'll see the squash, the gourds, whatever you want to call them. Um, they came a, a package of vegetables, um, probably imported from China, but you could, they were a gift to me from someone who was getting out of the miniature business, um, but you could take polymer clay and very easily create the same idea. And um, I have done that, but for this particular project, these, I was just starting out, so this is one of my my experiments and I was so thrilled because I learned something new and you can see the clock it's a little bit fuzzy it's just printed on a printer you can get free files off the internet and just print it cut it out a hole punch would have been better but I had scissors and just find a button that works it doesn't have to be fancy and uh, you know, keep repurposing it makes it fun and gives you more creative things to do and makes your brain think a little harder. Um, I keep saying if I could only find my brain. And then when you look at the heart, um, it can be anything. It could be a button. This is, um, I didn't make it, but just trying to describe it earlier, it's you know, it almost looks like musical instruments on a heart. So again, put whatever you want, but you can see how just little pieces of cardstock um, some glue, some things you have around the house, some buttons. You can come up with a cute little scene that's fun. You could have it for the holidays. It tucks away nicely um, so that you can pull it out and enjoy it. You could have your kiddos draw pictures, shrink them down, print them up, put them on the little wall of the matchbox, and you've got a little holiday theme. And it's fun to actually date it and have them sign it. And then you've got something that's a memorable, creative item that you can all enjoy and years to come 
you can say, wow, hey, we made that together. And what I like about these small projects is, again, they don't take up a lot of room. So many people end up outgrowing their rooms because they have so many houses or so many miniature um, boxes that are actually pretty large size. So I was thrilled that a friend had recommended we take a matchbox and do this. Hope it's enjoyable to you. Um, we're going to have a couple more videos just showing some little miniature buildings or displays that we put together while we're working on the kitchen cabinets and sink in our uh, Real Good Toys Beachside Bungalow. It's going to take me a while, so I, I wanted to share and make sure I had something out there, especially being autumn. I thought it was a perfect time. And I um, hope you have a great season, and I hope you'll come back. Thank you for visiting. If you do like our site, please like, subscribe, and share with your friends, your family, and leave comments. I appreciate the comments. It really helps uh, clarify things and ask questions. I sure don't mind. If I don't have the answer, I'll try to research it. Thanks again. Have a great day.